I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? You're much prettier. Oh, you're too kind. Is it... Is it warm in here? Stop bubbling, Mara. I'm sure you say that to Varric at least once a day. Twice, usually. But can you blame him? Nobody can resist this face. Something seems off about your mirror. Shouldn't it reflect the room? No. It's not that sort of mirror. Of all the giant mirrors in your house, Meryl, this is easily the nicest. I knew if anyone would understand, you would. Why are you showing me this exactly? It's not just a mirror. I mean, it is a mirror, but it's magic, or it will be. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvion. Two of my clan stumbled across it in a ruin. We never found Tamlin. Amario came back, poisoned by the Alluvion. Sick just from being near it. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin. But... It's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now. If he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. At first, I wanted to find out what happened to my friends. Maybe I could still help them. I suppose the great hero of Ferelden doesn't need my help now. But the Keeper said Mahariel died to stop the Blight. I'll never... Anyway, I know I can use it to help my people recover what we've lost. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we trapped Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things. But we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvion. Did your clan member recover? She had the blight corruption, the Keeper said. Marathari's magic was keeping it at bay, but not forever. A Grey Warden took her away. He promised they could cure her. I suppose they must have. The Keeper said she led the armies that slew the Archdemon. What's an Alluvian? Long ago, the Elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvian. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathon. This is a piece of our history. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or all tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. I cringe every time she says that. She has no idea what she's messing with. I do. I have it totally under control. But... It doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. But you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. I hear a butt coming. I can't go back there alone. Go talk to the Keeper, then. I just can't. You have no idea, the Keeper. I... I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? I'll go with you. Master Arnus, I'll find some way to repair you, I promise. I'm not helping you fix a mirror that kills people. It doesn't. I guess it was foolish of me to ask. I'll just have to find another way. Keep her. You return to us, Dalin. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Go on. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Hello again, Keeper. Don't you look lovely? My apologies, Hawk. Be welcome among the Dalish. 
Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking via Sulavanan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. What did Meryl invoke? Our history belongs to all, Dalish child. So our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Meryl has invoked. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool, used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the Dales. It is as old as Arlathan itself. It's a lot to ask, but could you two try to be less elfy for the sake of the human present? We are what we are, child. But I'll try to speak more of the common tongue. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out. Slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. Whoever's hiding had better come out. Unless you're a dragon. Then feel free to keep hiding. Hello? Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Meryl couldn't hurt you if she tried. At worst, she might make frowny faces. She'll do worse than hurt me. Don't you know what she is? Be calm, Paul. We'll help you get back to the camp. You don't know what she is, what she's done! Be still. You'll attract the Vartel's attention. No! Keep away from me, monster! Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him, hurry! Hold on, Paul. We're coming. Paul? Maybe it's not too late. Hawk, you can save him, can't you? I'm sorry, Meryl. You can help him, can't you, Anders? You can heal anyone. Meryl... He's gone. Maybe we can get him to the Keeper. She can heal almost anything. He's dead. There's nothing a healer can do now. scare this man to death creators I don't know there was nothing you could have done he was more afraid of me than the Vatero is that really so surprising I'll give you a hint it has to do with demons and slitting your wrists do you need a minute alone no. Thank you. I... We have 
too much to do for me to sit here bawling. Paul brought this on himself. He was a coward. He wasn't. You, of all people, should understand the courage it takes to leave the world you know behind. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerim and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. The Varteral is dead. Maseranus. I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vateral. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There is no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? The Eluvian is poison. It killed Tamlin. It stole Mahariel. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk, because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history, stories, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It is a sacrifice, but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. What did the Keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic? I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. Neither have I. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. Are you really that stupid? The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Don't lose that knife. I get the feeling the Keeper is as good at wielding guilt as my mother. I don't think that's wise, Hawk. Whatever she's trying to do with that mirror, it's at the behest of a demon. No one asked you. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. Everyone else seems to be terrified of this mirror of yours. Maybe you should be too. You're siding with the Keeper? Over the Blood Mage? I vote yes. This is dangerous, yes. But it is restoring something vital to my people. I know what I'm doing, Hawk. Give me the Arulin home. I'm keeping it. I can't let you do this. You're keeping a priceless heirloom of my clan. You have no right. You're not even Dalish. I can't believe you. Why did I trust you? You're just a Shemlin like all the others. I... I have nothing further to say. It's yours. Thank you. I'm glad you saw reason. Hawk, I could never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. 
No one ever understood. Not the Keeper, not my clan. Just you. I'm sensitive, handsome and supportive. What else could you possibly want? Nothing. Oh, not that I'm saying that I want you. I'll just stop talking now. What can I say? I'd do anything to help someone as sweet as you, Meryl. You're too good to me. I don't deserve you. No offense to your people, Meryl, but anyone who runs into a monster to escape you has their priorities wrong. They're... just confused. But it doesn't matter. I'll still save them. Considering how they've treated you, I'd say they're not worth all your trouble. I can't give up on them. They need me, even if they don't know it. When the Alluvian is finished, they'll appreciate all you've done for them. It's all right. Even if they hate me forever, I'll know I helped them. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Maserana's Letheling. How could you do that to me? How could you steal a priceless relic of my people? I trusted you. You told me the Alluvian killed someone. You want to rebuild something that dangerous in the middle of Kirkwall? It's not dangerous. I cleanse the corruption. It's only a tool. It's no more good or evil than a hammer or a sword. Your obsession with this mirror got you exiled from your people and turned you to blood magic. It's ruining your life. Let it go. Blood magic and exile were my choice. The Alluvian had nothing to do with it. You and the Keeper may not like it, but I chose this path with my eyes open. I don't know what the Arulan home can do, but I know you can't be responsible for it. I'm not a child asking for a puppy. I've trained my entire life to be a Keeper. Everything I do, everything I've ever done, was for the good of my people. Don't talk to me about responsibility. I can't believe I've been such an idiot believing you'd help me. Go! I'd rather be alone. Oh, Hawk. Come in. I was just... Am I crazy? What? No, of course not. I thought the rule in a home would fix everything. The mirror would work and everything would be right again. But I keep dreaming of Paul's face. Everyone that I care for thinks I'm a monster. It's hard to imagine someone more lovable than you. That's so untrue. I can think of someone. I... You've been so good to me. Someday I'll make this up to you, Lethaly. What happened in that cave wasn't your fault. Paul did that to himself. I know. But I caused it, or the clan did. Filling his head with terrible stories about me. You're a true friend, Hawk. I don't think you're a monster, Meryl. I don't know what I'd do without you. If they don't appreciate you, it's their loss. Even if they've given up on me, I can't do the same. I suppose that means I'm not really like them. Oh, may the dread wolf take you, you worthless hunk of glass. It won't work. All the years I've wasted on it, it's still a flaming mirror with no reflection. Why have you come? Is it time for another lecture about how reckless I'm being? It's not what you want to hear, Meryl. But you know what you're doing is dangerous. Only to myself. No one else is at risk. I have taken every possible precaution. I care about you, Meryl. I wanted to check on you. Just don't. Please don't say you're doing this for my sake. I don't need you, or Marathari, or anyone else to look after me. I thought I still had a day to get my notes together. I guess I'll have to improvise. I can't believe you're joking about this. Do you need me to remind you that the mirror is dangerous? How many times do I have to tell you it's not a threat? If you don't believe me, I'm wasting breath. I am trying to save my people. Why can't you understand that? I don't want to see you get hurt. Stop trying to save me. Is it really so bad to have someone watching out for you? You're not trying to help me. 
You're trying to sabotage my work. You're not saving anyone. You're putting everyone around you in jeopardy. Have you seen any harm I've done? Have you any proof? Or is it just your fear talking? I've given up everything to rebuild my people's past. And you just threw my sacrifice in the garbage. You say you mean well, but right now, I'd rather be alone. Why have you come here? Did the Keeper put you up to this? I get a sovereign every time I tell you to think about your actions. Ten coppers per finger waggle, too. Well, at least now I understand why you go to such lengths to torment me. No one put me up to anything. So you do this because you love to vex me, then? I know you're angry with me, but I'm doing this for your sake. Stop treating me like a child. Do you really want me to leave you alone? Why is it everyone questions what I want when I've just said it? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the Hanged Man. And I almost went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm rambling, aren't I? I don't mind. You're adorable when you're flustered. After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake. Leaving the Dalish. Who could pass up life in Kirkwall? The city of sunshine and butterflies. I suppose if I hadn't left my people, I never would have met you. If you were Dalish, my people would have a kingdom by now. And half of Thedas would be attacking us. So maybe things worked out for the best. Does it bother you that I'm human? No, I'm not saying I change you for... I'm making things worse, aren't I? I just... I'm one of the Elven. I'm supposed to preserve who we are, and if I... There are reasons that it's bad to... Is it warm in here? Hell gone on. I'll stop talking now. I guess I'll postpone making myself more... Elfy. Oh, I don't know. You'd look handsome with pointy ears. Not that you don't now. I doubt that I'd have unified the elves and ushered in a golden age. If you were an elf, Master Hawk, birds would swoop down out of the trees and compose songs just for you. I'm not an elf. There's not much use in wishing otherwise. I wasn't. Not e exactly. The Keeper, my whole clan will object if we... Not that they can possibly hate me anymore, I suppose. I'll apologize to them later. I'll even pretend to be sorry. Meryl. It's all right. The last thing I want is to disappoint the Keeper. I hear that's the stuff of nightmares. It is terrible. I, I wouldn't want you to suffer that. Nothing is going to happen between us. No, of course not. That would be impossible to imagine, wouldn't it? I'm not going to do anything that will get you in worse trouble with the Dalish. Of course. That's for the best, really. Anyway, I should go. Thank you for talking with me, Hawk. I'm not like you. And I wish that I were. You're beautiful and clever, and you never make any mistakes. And I... I don't deserve you. I'm not as perfect as you think, Meryl. I'm not some sort of goddess. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Some... People worship you from afar, you know. Perhaps you don't. But I deserve you. Did you think of that? Did you call the Maker a dirty name, then? You put yourself down too much. I've made a mess of everything. I know that. It's foolish of me to even dream that you might. I thought I was pretty obvious already. But I could spell it out for you. You're like a sister to me, Meryl. That's very kind of you to say. Hawk! Back at my house, I should never have said... I didn't mean it. People say a lot of things when they're angry. I knew you didn't mean it. Sometimes I think... you're too good to be with someone like me. I get thrown out of houses so often I hardly even notice anymore. 
No harm done. <laughs> you know a lot of very stupid girls, do you? I never want to see you again doesn't leave much room for interpretation. I told you before, I always say things that are painfully stupid. I know that you mean well. I just wish... You can't save me, Hawk. It's not worth trying. I'm not abandoning you. Maybe I want you to abandon me. Did you consider that? You sure? I'm getting really good at this hero thing. And what makes you think I need a hero? I'm not letting you destroy your own life. So you're willing to burn along with me? If you stick with me, you and everyone you love will be in danger. Do you understand? I, I can't bear if anything happens to you because of me. It will be all right, Meryl. Don't save me. Please. Just... Don't. I only want to make sure that no one else gets hurt. You think I'm that careless? You really think I would let anyone else come to harm with what I'm doing? I... Suppose I should have known. I should go. Thank you for hearing me out, Hawk. I wish I were more like you. Maybe then you'd think of me as... more than a bumbling idiot. I worry about you, Meryl, but I don't think less of you. You say that. But I know it's not true. Then we'd have nothing to talk about. And we'd just... stand around a lot. Awkward. Terrible fate. Whatever would we do to fill the silence? If you want to be more like me, then stand up for yourself. So you want me to fight with you more? I know I make stupid mistakes and I babble like a fool and you... You're beautiful and clever. You're too good. You shouldn't have to waste your time trying to save me from my own folly. What happens now? Are we... What did this mean? You know, we might have to try that a few more times to really get the meaning. Now, we both decide what happens next. If you hadn't come to Sandermount that day, I can't imagine where I'd be now. I love you. I probably shouldn't have said that, did I? I always say the stupidest things. Uh -oh. I love you, Meryl. Actually, I was going to suggest you move in with me. I was thinking of scandalizing the neighbors by having my Dalish lover move in. What do you think? Here. In Hightown. The rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. In you. With an elf. Ma Venon. You really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then... Neither am I. I think it's too early to talk about love. I knew I'd make a mess of things. I should go. I've got something for you. Ooh. Did you get this from Master Eilen? It looks like his work. He's always carving Hala out of bits of scrap. Before we left Ferelden, he had so many. The Keeper said he'd need ten real Hala to pull his carved ones north. Feeling homesick? No, no, I'm content. With my choice. Is having a weird fixation a Dalish thing? Or specific just to your clan? I suppose you would see it in a bad light. It's a kind gift. I should put this away somewhere. Mythal, did I miss some important occasion? I'm so sorry, I'll make it up to you, I promise. There's no occasion, Meryl. I just thought you'd like it. I, I do like it. I'm sorry I'm making a mess of this. It's just a gift. Nothing to panic over. I've said something stupid, haven't I? I think I missed the elvish sign for this present induces terrible guilt. I'll shop more carefully in the future. 
I... Of course. You're just being thoughtful. No one has ever given me a present before. Useful things. Tools or clothes. Because I needed them, not... Just because. Maseranus. I'll find a good place for this. Paul. What was he thinking? He acted like I was a monster. You are a monster. Maybe he was thinking, Ah! Blood Mage! That seems the most likely scenario. Don't blame yourself, kitten. Sometimes men do senseless things. <laughs>